guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and if you're new here, welcome. For today, we're gonna be doing another hair tool video, which is part of my testing hair tool series. I'll leave it up here somewhere for you, but go ahead and do check that out. So far, everything I've tried has been from Amazon and because the last hair tool I used was the Elsai um, hair waver, did not work out for me. I was doing some grocery shopping and I saw this at Walmart. It was only $19, $20, $19.99. And it's a double ceramic triple barrel waver. And I went ahead and grabbed it because the hair waver is not gonna beat me. I am going to slay this. I'm going to make it work. And here we are, round two of hair waver versus we're gonna make it work so if you want to see how this tool works how it looks on me what I think about it then just keep on watching so again my hair is air dried I washed it yesterday I let it air dry honestly think my hair doesn't even look bad air dry lately like I really like how it looks so we're gonna go ahead and try that out just add some more little waves and yeah so I'm just gonna brush my hair through and then I'm gonna section it. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of um, heat protectant and then we're gonna go ahead and open this baby right up. And this is what it looks like. It's honestly smaller than I thought it would be, but I think it's gonna work out because since I have shorter hair, I think this will actually work to my benefit. Really user-friendly also, power on and off. I don't know what turbo means, but it says turbo on and off. It has this where you twist it and it goes from a one to a 30. Um, so I'm gonna take a minute just to read over the instructions because I don't know what the turbo means and I don't know how the heat setting works with that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it says here that the temperature control from low to five is for fragile and fine hair. And then it says medium six to 10 for thin hair, medium high 11 to 15 for medium normal hair, high 16 through 20 for wavy and curly hair, and maximum 25 through 30 for coarse thick hair. And then turbo heat up to 15 Celsius, 27 degrees Fahrenheit burst of heat for difficult styling spots. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and try with the max because I have thick hair. I don't know, maybe I'll start with the medium. Um, and then it says, to create deep waves, start with a section of hair that's two inches wide. Hold the styler for five to 10 seconds. And it says some experience is necessary. So um, I guess this is a learn as you go kind of thing. So let's go ahead and plug this right in and begin using it. So we're gonna turn it on and the light is gonna flash red until it's ready and then I think it just stays. So let's go and put it at a 15. I'm really nervous because the last time I tried a hair waver it did not work for me and I don't know if it was just me because honestly every review I had seen were positive reviews so I really felt bad for it not working for me um, especially because the first thing I used from them was such a positive experience um, so we shall see if it's me or if it was the hair waver if this works out for me then we'll know for sure I'm gonna start with a section in the front so we can see and it's set about two inches. I'm gonna use this tiny section and see how that kind of turns. Okay, so that is really pretty. All right. I like this a lot better than that first one. But the other one also started promising, so I don't want to count victories yet. I like that a lot. I'm not gonna get too excited yet, but so far, 
I really, I really like it. And again, with this back section, kind of bottom section, I am a lot more careless just because everything up here goes on top of that. But I really wanna give this a fair shot. So I'm really trying to section my hair really well and work with smaller sections, thicker sections, thinner sections, just to see how it all works out. But I do like it a lot. I think it has to do with the barrels this one does have the three barrels and I just think that makes the wave effect um, that much better it could also be that this is my second go I kind of using a hair waver um, so I think I'm definitely gonna go back to the L side and just give it another shot and see how it works again um, but this one for $20 I think it's working great I think I could do better when it comes to the end, but I must say I like this. Again, just like I did the last time, I am trying it with smaller pieces, bigger pieces, just to see um, kind of what works best. And I think with a little thinner piece, it does look better and now we have the oh it's not the last section I forgot about this one this might get a little bit annoying sometimes as you're grabbing it you might turn the little um, temperature control Always, I'm gonna part it kind of off center. <laughs> I feel like this is the most important section because it's the section that's gonna frame your face. That is it. This is kind of what we are working with. I still feel like I need to have a lot more practice with the hair wavers and stuff, but I actually really, really, really liked how this one worked a lot 
more than the last one I tried. Um, I do kind of want to try to play around with it more, um, but I am happy with this result. Now, it is a lot more volume than I'm used to, um, but I'm not mad at it at all. I think I can style it and work with it and it'll end up looking very cute. And I did for sure achieve that mermaid wavy hair look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell so you never miss any of my videos. Tell me what you think about this waiver. Let me know down below in the comments. I think when my hair is longer, it'll look a lot better because right now it does look like a lot because my hair is shorter. Um, but I did enjoy that tool for two reasons. It has three barrels and they were smaller so it gave me more room to work with. But yeah, that is it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Where's my little clip? <gasps>